good scene today. Hey, same to you, Elijah. Hey, next week, right? Oh, absolutely. Hey, can't wait to finish that story, man. Hey, be careful out here, man. You know some crazy people in this world, soldier. I already know. All right, my boy. All right, let's see. <laughs> sir. 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 Are you OK? Wait, wake, wait, up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Don't, don't, don't okay. touch him. Don't touch him. I'm moving it. Don't move it. Don't move it at all. Oh my God! I can't believe they just kept driving. What a jerk! They didn't even stop to check and see if he's okay. All right, I'm calling the ambulance right now. And police. It was a hit and run. Did, hey, did anyone get the plates? I, I didn't get the plates, but I, I know what kind of car. It, it was a black Toyota Corolla. A uh, black Toyota. Okay. It just happened so fast. We need to call the police, man. I'm on it right now. I'm doing it right now. He, he has a pulse. Is it he? Sir, can you hear me? Elm Street. Oh, man, this Tell him to hurry. Tell him to hurry. Hit and run. Back. Good, good. Okay, come down. All right. All right, one more time. One more time. A little slow. Take your time. Take your time. Okay, wow. You looking good. How do you feel? Appreciate the compliment, Maya. I feel pretty fantastic compared to last month. Right. You're making some improvements. Okay, so when are you gonna tell me what happened to you? Uh, I just, I just don't feel like talking about that. I really just want to leave that all in the past. I understand. It's a traumatic situation. So I have been doing physical therapy with you this past four months. I do think I deserve to know why. Well, maybe we could talk about it over dinner. <laughs> what? You asking me out on a date? Uh, uh. And you know, we cannot mix business with pleasure. Maybe I am. And if I am. Would you say yes? Uh, well. <laughs> what are you talking about business for? Today's my last session, so that means you're fired. Uh, <laughs> you are something. What? Well, I mean, you'd have to ask me to find out. How about Friday night, 8 p.m. sharp? Hmm, and where are you taking me? Wherever you like. My disability check can cover anything. <laughs> <laughs> wow, OK, I mean. Well, you'd have to pick me up. My car's in the shop, so. It's too easy. Just text me the address and I'll be right there. Okay. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Where do you think you're going? Have a seat. We're not done with your session. You are something else. So what's next? Slow down, cowboy. You got me out the house. Now what? You know what, Maya? I must tell you, after working with you these few months, I've really grown to have, I've really grown to care about you, Matt. That's so sweet, thank you. I, I really care about you too. I, man, your recovery has been tremendous. Like, you're just such a trooper. Appreciate that, Maya, but that car accident really did a number on me. Did you say car accident? Yeah, I was trying to tell you about that, remember? Oh, thank you. I'm That's listening, Elijah. Tell me what happened to you. Well, I would say about a few months ago, about six months to be exact, I was struck by a hit and run. A what? A hit and run. Some idiot just hit me with that car and just kept driving. <laughs> Can you believe that? Did, did you say six months ago? Yeah. Why you ask, Mike? You must have heard it on the news because it was broadcasted, I mean, everywhere. Look, I, I think it's time for me to go. No, no, no. Where you going? Just, just stay. I, oh my goodness, Elijah. Hey, 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 my, don't cry. Look, look, it's all over and done. Look at me. I'm doing pretty good. And it's all because of you. <laughs> Thank you. I didn't Did think... ever catch the person that hit you? No, no. But... Listen, I, I don't know how to tell you this. Look, I get it. You're not interested in this. Fine. No, it's not that. It's not that at all, actually. Then what is it? <laughs> Is it because my legs still haven't healed yet? I don't know how to tell you this. My, just spit it out. I, I, I too was involved in a car accident six months ago. Okay, what you mean involved? I, like, you were hit as well? <laughs> my. Look, I, I know you're gonna be upset. I, <laughs> I think I may have been the one that hit you with my car. What? <laughs> I'm sorry. No. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Wait, it was you? 
that hit me with your car and then drove off? It was you that left me, didn't even care if I was dead or alive? It wasn't on purpose, it was an accident. It all just happened so fast. Oh no, you should go to jail. No, listen, you don't understand. No, I, was... I understand completely. You know what? I'm calling the cops. No, you can't, I'll, I'll lose my license. And that you should. How immoral. You left me on that road for dead. I was told that complete strangers came to my rescue. Listen, please, keep, please find it in your heart to forgive me. I'm so, so sorry. No, this is really going to be difficult because I was really developing some strong feelings for you. Man, you? Why? I forgive you. You do? Yes. If it hadn't been for you these past few months helping me to recover, I wouldn't even know how to think about you. These past few months, I know you're not an evil person. Actually, you're the most loving, kind, and tender woman I know. You really think so? Yes, absolutely. You're like my guardian angel in some kind of twisted, crazy way. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. Just say you'll never do anything like that again. Never. The moral of the story is, be careful when driving on the road. Accidents happen every day. Always put yourself in the shoes of others and determine what's right and stick with it.